Woman step by step closer to her nominal boyfriend, the beauty is right in front of her. The man is unmoved, because their love relationship is pretend. But this life is also too boring. So a bet was born between them. This year they are ready to gamble. Mary, the principal's niece. She is determined and devoted, engaged and believes in true love. Jack thought he could use him as a bet. But Anna had no more bets. So she decided to make herself a bet. If Mary is successfully taken, and then abandoned by Jack, then Anna would let Jack her fake boyfriend, do whatever he wanted to her. If you lose, the beach house will be given to Anna. But Mary is not easy to handle. Jack just came downstairs to talk to her more. Mary's best friend sent up a letter. Said Mary had to go home, because her fiancé Tilda copyright is coming back. Mary had moved from Paris with her father. She lives with her father in her uncle's house. Jack was a famous surfer. He often hangs out with his friends at the beach. Jack and Marie met because of the family dog. Mary called out to the dog but did not respond. Then she noticed the door was left open. She went out to look for it. Jack, who had just come out of the water, saw the dog. At that moment a car just passed on the other side of the road. The woman driver was still playing with her phone. Jack ran straight across the road to save the dog. The two people met there. Jack also found out that Mary's uncle is his own principal. He also kindly sent Mary home. He also gave Mary a pair of his own surfboard. Mary subconsciously refused him. I did not expect to forget his dog. Luckily, Jack reminded him in time. This increased Anna's goodwill towards him. In response to another invitation from Jack, this time Mary did not refuse. The two also went to the beach together to watch the sunset. And that's when Jack noticed the ring on her hand. Mary said she would be married in a year. Jack smiled. He didn't believe in love. The two became acquainted. Jack invited her to his house for a party. This is where Mary met her best friend. It was here that Anna and Jack's bet this year was born. Who says nuns can't have a nightlife? The woman wanted to try it. But the step of bringing an umbrella stopped her. The nun didn't understand its use. But it was all caught on camera by Jack. This was her revenge on Charlotte. With Anna's deliberate introduction, Mary's ideas soon became known to the school. She rose to become the celebrity of the school. Mary was still a little uncomfortable, so the male best friend changed the subject. Talked about this wounded man. The school was going to help him raise money. They were going to put on a pay-per-view show. The recruitment continued, and Jack's pursuit of Mary continues. There's a bully in front of them. Jack walks right up and punches the man down. Then came the handsome. That is very handsome, but this is all he found a group of actors. He invited invited Mary to a movie. I didn't expect Mary to bring her cousin Charlotte. During the movie he kissed Mary directly. Mary is completely unacceptable and left the scene. Jack rushed to catch up to explain that he did not think. But Mary said she already knew Jack's notoriety. Upset. Jack went to her best friend. Under his threat, the boyfriend dutifully installed the spyware on Mary's phone. The data was transferred to another phone. Receiving the news, Jack soon found out the truth. It turns out that Mary's cousin Charlotte next to his own bad news. So he prepared a party for Anna to brainwash Charlotte. Let her give her virginity to someone she does not know. So that in the face of true love will not be inexperienced. Then he gets his hands on Sherlock. And recorded it. Time passed. Mary is falling in love with Jack. In the face of Jack's kisses she did not resent. But wait until the last step when Jack stopped. He was a little bit reluctant to do it. He takes Mary back on his motorcycle. But Mary's fiancé. Tilda Copyright found him. He was going to surprise Anna, but not a surprise. The fiancé Tilda Copyright became an ex-boyfriend. The charity event also had a small setback. The father, who is a master of drama, criticized them. He said that their idea of making the play more modern would not work. Time passes quickly to the day of the show, and Anna sent everyone what Jack had filmed at the party. This was too much for Charlotte to handle and she went into hiding. But for the sake of the classmates in the hospital bed they had to go on. To keep warm the man holds the girl tightly in his arms. Arms. But this is not enough for the cold weather. The man had to use his best trick. He had one last trick. He could warm both of them up. The charitable drama soon began. The father instructed Mary to replace her. Jack also took the stage as the lead. They turned the 18th century play into a 21st century rap. The audience did not stop applauding the novelty of the play. By the time the intermission was over, Anna approaches Jack and asks him to abandon Mary to complete the bet. Jack doesn't want to, he's already in love with Mary. But Anna has another trick up her sleeve. She threatened Jack. If he doesn't do as she says, 
she will destroy Mary. Jack had to do as he was told and humiliated Mary on stage. Anna had a smug smile on her face. The audience thought it was an effect of the show. The applause was loud. After the show was over Anna used a new tactic. She posted a video claiming that Jack was cheating on her with Mary. Mary was the woman who claimed she was exclusive. She wanted to destroy Mary with her own hands. This shocking news was met with boos from the audience. Mary fled the area in a panic. But Jack had a way out. He sent out the audio of the two men. The ugly face of Anna on it made everyone look at her. The boos got louder. And Mary was walking on the beach and the waves were drowning her. That's when a man saved Mary. It was an ex-boyfriend. The two fall on the beach. The ex-boyfriend realizes the haste with which he proposed. Mary also apologized for her behavior. At this point Jack went out on the balcony. Then he went on the air. He said that he and Anna had never been together. He pretended to be a couple just to gain popularity and fans. He also revealed his annual bet with Anna. The challenge this year was Mary. But he never thought he would really fall in love with Mary. What he did on stage was also to protect Mary. But it didn't work. But that doesn't matter anymore. Jack stepped on the stage. At that moment his cell phone rang. It turned out that Mary had also opened a live broadcast. She forgave Anna for her cowardice. In her opinion, in order to love and be loved, everyone can do crazy things. The number of fans does not matter. Without love and glory, there is no way to talk about it. The key is not to find someone who makes you shine, but to find a person who makes you see yourself clearly. There may be many such people, so we can't guarantee who we'll fall in love with. She also praised her cousin Charlotte. In her eyes Charlotte was the purest and most complete. Those who do not understand are not worthy of her. At that moment the principal also found his daughter in the closet. He apologized to his daughter. And Mary said her last words. It doesn't matter if you screw up halfway. My mother used to say. If it's true love, the world will always forgive. She also found Jack on the roof. At that moment the two of them looked at each other. They held each other tight. All the misunderstandings were gone. 